Hello Sagittarius, Sun Moon Rising and Venus and welcome to another reading. So Sag, let's talk. As I was preparing the deck, getting ready for your reading, I saw the Empress, I saw the Ten of Cups, and I also saw the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like this Empress in particular, and this Empress could be you, it could be your person. Now don't get caught up in the gender because we all have masculine and feminine energy within us. Um, so don't get caught up in the gender, but nonetheless, right? I feel like this Empress is learning to be open and receptive to the possibilities here when it comes down to whoever it is that they're currently romantically involved with. You know what's interesting is that for some, it could even be like a fairly new person that they're learning to be open and receptive with. But I gotta be honest, I feel like this is somebody that they've been dealing with for quite some time that they're finally learning to lower their guard down, be a little bit more open and receptive. I gotta be honest, I feel like these empresses out here, some of them, not all of them, get easily triggered. So if you currently find yourself connecting with somebody who gets easily triggered as they're going through this transition and this process, really, really, really try your hardest to not trigger this person because I feel like, I feel like as this empress is learning to be open and receptive, they're learning, they're, they're lowering their guard down in the process, but I feel like because some of these empresses out here, they do get easily triggered, it might resort this empress to go back to their old ways, whatever that means, because I was kind of getting that. But yeah, that's the only thing that I was actually picking up on as I was preparing the deck for your reading. So let's just get into it. Let's see what else we can get for Sagittarius, Summon Rising, and Venus. So we have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Like I said, for some, especially because I saw the Ace of Pentacles, it could be somebody fairly new that you're connecting with. But for others, it does feel like this is somebody that you've been connecting with for quite some time. Um, and I feel like you're finally like learning to uh, let your guard down and be a little bit more open and receptive if you are the energy that I'm basically describing. Especially with Stay Optimistic here, I feel like this person's taking on a new way of being, a new way of approaching the situation that they currently find themselves in. Again, it's definitely a process. It's definitely going to be a process uh, for this person in particular. But I mean, so far, so good, Sag. So we're going to focus on you first, then we'll jump over to your person. Just keep in mind the roles can be reversed. Also keep in mind time is fluid. So this could either currently be happening or maybe happening on a later date. But let's focus on you first. How does Sagittarius currently view this relationship? Okay. So we have the Eight of Wands, we also have the Ten of Wands, and then we also have the Ace of Cups. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Ten of Pentacles, we also have the Ace of Swords, and then we also have the King of Pentacles. Interesting enough, we have the Seven of Swords with the Queen of Cups, to the Five of Wands, to the Two of Swords, to the Queen of Pentacles. True pair situation here between you and this person. You are coming across as a king of pentacles, but I feel like you're dealing with this queen. I feel like you're dealing with this queen. You know what's interesting is that they're sitting in a lot of feminine energy. And feminine energy typically is known for being very open and receptive. And I feel like that's something that this person does struggle with. Like as far as like being open and receptive to you and what you're trying to essentially offer them slash bring to the table. I gotta be honest, I don't feel like this this feminine energy over here trusts you. I don't feel like they trust you. And it could. It could have a lot to do with, you know, things that have happened within this relationship that you guys share with one another that's causing them to respond and react this way. But for others, I kind of feel like this has a lot to do with just overall experiences that this person has had with people, obviously prior to you um, entering the picture here. But nonetheless, I'm getting like, a lot of resist a lot of resistance which i'm not shocked a lot of resistance a whole lot of fighting against the natural flow here when it comes down to this relationship that you guys share with one another and it has a lot to do with the simple fact that they don't fully trust the process here between you and them again i feel like they want to be open and receptive especially because they're coming across as a queen of cups to the queen of pentacles they want to be open and receptive they want to trust the process but it's hard it's very hard for them to do that it's very hard for them to do that and it has a lot to do with the simple fact that they don't feel safe or secure with you. They just don't. Let's just be honest. Let's call it for what it is. They don't feel safe or secure with you. And it could have a lot to do with something that you may have done while being involved with them. Or it could have a lot to do with just previous experiences that this person has had, obviously, prior to you coming along. But nonetheless, it is a true pair situation here between you and this person. You guys are very compatible to one another. There's a great deal of potential here, and the both of you know that. 
But the fact that we have the Ten of Wands out here for you, I'm not shocked. I'm not shocked because this is just basically insinuating that you're having a very, very difficult slash challenging time obtaining exactly what it is that you want with this uh, feminine energy of yours. What you want is quite obvious and simple what you want is something long term and you're pretty dead set on this queen over here you're pretty dead set on them and what it is that you want with them so i really want to jump over to this feminine energy and see what's going on um, on their end we're already seeing like a boatload of resistance from them we're already seeing that this person's really struggling with being open and receptive to you and what it is that you're trying to establish with them I also kind of feel like this person does kind of question your intentions towards them. It's almost in a sense where they have like a very difficult time believing that you actually want something long term and something serious with them. I'm not entirely sure why they feel that way, um, especially because I feel like it's so obvious. Like I feel like it's so obvious. It, it's so obvious what it is that you want here with this feminine energy. But let's let's look into them. I feel like this feminine energy... They're going through a whole lot. They're definitely going through a whole lot. And it has a lot to do with the simple fact that as much as they want to lower their guard down, as much as they want to be vulnerable, as much as they want to trust the process, they just feel like they can't. And like I said, where, where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? I feel like this person does get easily triggered, especially with the five of wands. This person does kind of get easily triggered. So keep in mind, because I was picking up on this overall energy of somebody who's actually learning to let their guard down. As this person is going through this process, this feminine energy of yours, my best advice, honestly, is to learn what this person's triggers are so that way you don't trigger them and cause them to resort right back into their old ways as far as like being defensive, not trusting this process. You know what I mean? It's concern, but all right, let's look at this, this feminine energy. How does this person currently view? We have the Ace of Swords, very nice with the Empress, and then we also have the uh, Eight of Pentacles. This is kind of like a light bulb moment that this feminine energy is, okay? This is kind of like a light bulb moment that this feminine energy is actually currently experiencing, and it does have a lot to do with the simple fact that, well, they have been making this process, you know, between you and them extremely difficult. And it has a lot to do with the simple fact that, you know, at times they tend to overthink things. Um, at times they feel like they can't fully trust this entire situation with you. And at times they feel like it's not entirely safe to lower their guard down. But they're realizing this about themselves. They're realizing this about themselves. And it could very well be because you're bringing it to their attention. It could be. Or someone else is bringing it to this person's attention. Like, say, for a perfect example, this person's, like, confiding in, like, a close family member or a close friend. And that close family member or friend is actually telling them, like, you know, you're kind of the problem here. It's not Sag. It's you, right? Um, I feel like someone is bringing this to this person's attention. And, well, for others, this is just something that this person's realizing on their own. But... In order for them to obtain the relationship that they want with you, because that's one thing that I do like, is that the feeling is essentially mutual here. You're not dealing with somebody who doesn't love you. You're not dealing with somebody who doesn't see a future here with you. You are dealing with somebody who does love you. You are dealing with somebody who does see a future here. But in order for them to obtain this with you, it does kind of require them to lower their guard down. It does kind of require them to trust the process. And it's not an easy thing for this person to do. I can tell that it's not an easy thing for this person to do, but it's something that they're learning. And I was getting that. It's something that this person's definitely learning to do. They're harnessing a new way of being. Um, like I said, I really do recommend that the vast majority of you who currently find yourself connecting with this feminine energy Try to really learn what this person's triggers are so that way you're not triggering this person because as they're taking on this new way of being, it's going to be a challenge for this person, right? Because they're, for the most part, trying to take on this new way of being that they're not necessarily used to, right? And if you do something on your end to trigger this person, it's going to cause this person to feel like, See, I knew it wasn't safe. I knew it wasn't safe. Let me go back to my bubble where I feel safe. You know what I mean? And that's not what we want. We want this feminine energy to feel safe and secure, especially if this is obviously somebody that you want a future with, because it's pretty evident that you do want a future with this feminine energy. It does kind of require you to learn this person's triggers. So that way you're not triggering them. Okay. Okay. Let's keep going. Let's see what else we can get here. How does this person currently feel? 
Oh, here we go. I knew that that was going to happen. I knew it. That's why I was like, let me just call it out now, shall we? Oh, God. Here they go back into their bubble again, back into their bubble again, where they feel safe. Let me, I want to see what you're doing on your end because th this, I, I knew that this was going to come up for this feminine energy. I just knew it. This is like the, the epitome of somebody getting triggered and running right back into their bubble where they feel safe, where they feel safe. I want to look at this page of wands because there's something that's triggering this person and it's causing them to go right back to feeling defensive feeling like they can't trust this entire process here between you and them. It's something that you're doing on your end. I, I, I just kind of feel like, I just kind of feel like if you were to like learn this person's triggers, it'll definitely help this feminine energy as far as like learning how to let their guard down is concerned and trusting the process. You know what I mean? But I feel like you're doing something on your end that's causing them to like resort right back into like their old way of being, sort of speak. Tell me more about the page of wands. Come on. We have the star. We have the page of pentacles. We have the chariot. And then we have the three of swords. Here we go again. With the Seven of Swords to the Seven of Pentacles. Mm. It's not really specifying like exactly what it is that you're doing on your end that's causing this person to resort back into their old ways. But, you know, that's the thing, right? Is that we all have triggers, right? Um, what triggers, you know, this person in particular might be like the smallest thing that you're doing on your end, Sag. Nonetheless, you're doing something on your end that's triggering this person. And that's something that you need to really figure out exactly what it is that, you know, you're doing on your end that's triggering this person. But I feel like in general, you need to really learn what this person's triggers are. So that way you're not triggering this person, because I feel like this person's harnessing this new way of being. They're trying to learn how to lower their guard down. They're trying to learn how to trust you and trust this entire process here. And then boom, you know, something happens and it causes this person to, to feel, how do I, say, I almost want to say foolish, to be completely honest. It causes them to feel foolish for even trusting you or trusting the process here. You know, this is kind of like an overall energy of like, I knew it was too good to be true. I knew it. 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 With the seven of swords to the seven of pentacles, as much as they're learning to try to let their guard down, you're giving them a reason not to. You're giving them a reason not to. What are you doing exactly? I have no idea, but you're giving them a reason not to want to lower their guard down. And honestly, it could be the smallest thing. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't mean that you're cheating on them or you're entertaining anybody else. Like, it could be something else, you know, it could, it could be the smallest thing, you know, that triggers this person into feeling like it's not safe. It's not safe. It's not safe. I knew it was too good to be true. Like it does have that, that feel to it. You're doing something on your end. You're definitely doing something on your end. Here we go. How does Sagittarius currently feel? Hmm. We have the star. We have the Six of Wands, and then we also have the Four of Swords. One thing that I will say about you is that you're very crystal clear on what you want, which I don't know if I already said that, but it keeps showing up that you're very crystal clear on what you want and who you want. You basically look at this Empress like they basically have everything that you want within a person and then some. But my thing is is that this relationship, you know, as much as like sad, you're trying to build and obtain the relationship you want with this, this feminine energy, you're going to continue to find yourself hitting a dead end with this empress time and time and time and time and time and time again, because you don't really know what triggers this feminine energy. And you don't really know what honestly causes them to essentially feel not so safe and secure with you. And that's something that you honestly need to learn and figure out because See, you know, you're going to keep hitting a freaking dead end with this empress in particular. You're going to constantly find yourself stressing the hell out. You're going to constantly find yourself feeling like it's just so remotely impossible, right? To build and establish the relationship that you want with them. But it all boils down to what I already said. 
this entire situation between you and this person, it's very challenging. It's very difficult. It's not an easy thing for this person to do. And as much as they may want you in a future with you, if you if you constantly continue to give this person a reason to, to not feel so safe and secure, it's just going to make the process that much more difficult. But I feel like it has a lot to do with the simple fact that you're so unaware of what this feminine energy's triggers actually are. And that's why, like... You know, you keep hitting like this dead end with this person time and time and time again. Hmm. Okay, let's keep going. Let's see what I'll freaking get here. I also don't like the fact that we have the Ten of Swords um, and the Page of Wands and the Hermit because it's like an overall energy of like them kind of telling themselves like, you see, this is why I can't do it. This is why I can't do it. You know, this is why I can't do it. I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. And it has a lot to do with the fact that you're doing something on your end that's triggering them. I don't know exactly what it is, but dude, you're doing something. Uh, what actions? Hmm. We got the Knight of Wands. We got the, uh, yeah, see, this is kind of like an overall energy of someone starting to feel like, you know what? I just can't take it anymore. I can't take it anymore. I can't take it anymore. This is too challenging. This is too hard. I want out. I want out. I want out. Okay. Well, let's see, dude. Let's see what happens here. What actions? Yeah, well, there's that double confirmation, you know. This person... And all of this is going to hit you out of the blue. You're not even going to see all of this coming, to be completely honest, especially with the Seven of Cups to the Ten of Swords. You're not going to see this coming. Um, I feel like this entire situation is starting to become so much for this feminine energy. You know, as much as they may try to lower their guard down, as much as they may try to trust the process, you keep doing something on your end that keeps giving this feminine energy a reason to not trust this entire process here. And it has a lot to do with the fact that you don't even know this person's triggers. And here you are unknowingly right triggering the hell out of this feminine energy and is causing them to feel like all right you see this is why i don't do this this is why i feel like i can't trust the process right and i feel like they're kind of telling themselves you know i just can't do this i just can't do this right um and i do feel like for the most part they're gonna definitely let you know that this is starting to come blah, blah blah this is starting to become a little bit overwhelming this is starting to become a little bit too burdensome and they want out with the knight of wands they want to dip out they don't want to deal with this anymore and i feel like all of this is going to kind of hit you out of nowhere i do what's what's interesting it's not interesting now that I think about it based off of the stuff that I've already said, but it's kind of like an overall energy of, yes, all of this is kind of hitting you out of nowhere, but you're trying to figure out like, what the hell just happened? Like, what the hell just happened? Like, what did I do? It's just that double confirmation that you don't really know what this person's triggers are. And here you are unknowingly triggering the hell out of this person as they're trying to change. You're triggering the hell out of them. And you're giving them a reason not to trust you. You're giving them a reason not to lower their guard down. And like I said, dude, it could be the smallest thing. It could definitely be the smallest thing that you're doing on your end. But at the bottom of the deck, we do have the Eight of Cups. We also have the Hangman. And then we also have the Ten of Cups. I'm not shocked. The Eight always goes to the Ten. Again, you're very clear on what you want and who you want which i do feel like it is this feminine energy and losing them is just not something that you want to do like that's just not something that you want to experience that's just not something that you want to go through like totally understandable but a lot of you are starting to kind of feel like this entire situation is kind of spiraling out of control you know it's causing you to feel like there's nothing that i can do there's nothing i can say it's like they don't want to be with me anymore but it's like dude no, that's not the case like you have full blown you have full blown control over this entire situation you just don't know it like and it all boils down to what i already said if you could just take time to learn what this person's triggers are all of this could be avoided all of this can honestly be avoided you know i don't feel like this feminine energy is that type of person that you know, wouldn't be upfront honest with the things that trigger them, you know, like they, an empress is somebody who doesn't have time for games. An empress is somebody who's mature. Um, so like I said, I don't necessarily feel like this empress would be the type to shy away from telling you what actually triggers them. I feel like they would be open and honest about it. But 
again, you would have to kind of learn what triggers this person in particular. So that way we could avoid this situation from happening here between you and this person. But then again, that's out of my control because if I'm telling, <laughs> I'm over here telling you, you got to learn this person's triggers so that way we can avoid all of this, right? But if you don't take the time to learn this person's triggers, this is going to happen. It's just bound to happen at any given moment. This relationship, it's going to fall apart. It's going to feel extremely overwhelming for this feminine energy because as much as they may try to lower their guard down, trust the process, you keep giving them a reason to not trust this process. And it's something that you're doing on your end. It's something that, and I feel like it's something that you're not even aware of. Like you're not even aware of whatever it is that you're doing on your end is very triggering for this person. You're not even aware of it. Hence why here they are coming in any things with you and you're just like, wait, what? What? What 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 the, what the fuck? What did I do? Like it does have that that feel to it. It does have that feel to it. We have getting to know each other. As you reveal your normal selves to each other, your bond deepens. There's just that double confirmation that you need to honestly learn what this person's triggers are then we also have express your love you know i feel like a conversation needs to happen i feel like you need to really figure out what this person's triggers are and once you do you'll be able to like avoid those things that actually trigger uh this feminine energy of yours so that way they could really you know start to fully trust this entire situation here between you and them but I gotta be honest, I also kind of feel like this feminine energy in particular, like they need to be a little bit more vocal about the things that they don't necessarily like, the things that actually trigger them. So that way you're actually aware of it. Um, I also feel like this empress needs to be a little bit more honest too, because it's, it's not fair if you think about it. Like it's not fair for this feminine energy to assume that you just know what triggers them. Like that's not fair, okay? You're not a psychic, you're not a mind reader, you know what I mean? Like it's not fair. Cause I feel like some of these feminine energies, they just expect you to know like what triggers them, you know, like the do's and the don'ts. They just expect you to know all these things. Um, and I don't think that that's technically fair for you to be completely honest. I don't, I really don't. So I do feel like this feminine energy needs to be a little bit more open and honest when it comes down to the things that actually do trigger them with you. So that way you're aware of it. But nonetheless, if they, cho if they choose not to go down that route and inform you about the things that actually trigger them, you need to figure out what triggers them. So that way all of this could be avoided because all of this can totally be avoided. But at the rate that we're going right now, it's, it's going to become so burdensome for this feminine energy that they're going to look at this entire situation between you and them like it's not even worth it. It's not even worth it. Like as much as they may want to be with you, as much as they may see a future with you, it's going to become so overwhelming for them that they're not going to have like the desire to even continue to fight for this. They're not going to have the desire to change or to lower their guard down or to even learn how to do those things. Like they're not going to have that real desire to do it. And once the desire is honestly gone for this person, to them, it's not even worth fighting for. It's not even worth fighting for. So just keep that in mind because all of this could be avoided, all right? So that's what I have for you, Sag. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated also too. For those of you who want to follow me on Instagram, it is linked in the description box down below. Happy holidays to all of you, and I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.